Hi, so in today's Microsoft Word tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a letter in Word using address bars, dates, titles, content and the signature block. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is just pop our address in. So I'll quickly type out an address and come back to sort out the alignment. OK, so here's just a simple example of our address. So let's just say that we've typed our address up here and we want to align it in a slightly different way. So of course, at the moment, you can leave the address there if you choose to do so. But you can also highlight the text, go up to the Home tab and then go down to this icon here, which is Align to Right. And if we click that, so now you can see the address is lined up along the right hand side. So let's go ahead and put a date into our letter. If our cursor is at the end of our postcode line and we hit the return key, you'll see that the cursor simply goes to the line below. If you want the date on the left hand side of your page, then again go up to the Home tab and down to this icon here, which is Align to Left. And your cursor will then switch across to the left hand side of the page. So here we have our date, and again, if you would prefer the date over on the right-hand side, just align to the right, or over to the left, align to the left. Now I'm just going to make a space between the bottom of the address and the date. I'm going to place my date over on the right-hand side. And I'm going to go ahead and start my letter. So I hit the return key twice. And then I want to begin my letter over on the left hand side. So I'm going to click on align to left. Once I've done that, I then want to enter my title. So I'm simply going to hit the return key twice again. And I want my title to appear in the middle of the letter here. I want to underline it. I want to make it bold and I want to increase the size of the font. So the first thing I'm going to go up to is this center text icon here. Then I'm going to go along to the bold icon and the underline icon here. At the moment, my text is in sentence case, but I've decided that perhaps my letter would look better if all of this text was in uppercase. So I can just simply highlight the text and then I can go up to this icon here, we're still in the Home tab, and along to this icon here and click on the drop down. And then I'm just going to go down to uppercase. And then I'd like this text to be a little bit bigger. So again, I'm going to go up to the Home tab and use this icon here, which is Increase Font Size. So I'm going to click until I'm happy with the size of my font. So now my cursor is at the end of this title. If I hit the return key, then the formatting I've used for the above line is going to be repeated until I undo the formatting and take me back to the left hand side of my page. The quickest way to do that is again to go up to the Home tab and this icon here, Clear All Formatting. So I click that and my cursor is taken back to the left hand side and as I start to type you can see that I don't have any bold, underline or increased font size. I just hit the return key and then I can just begin to type. So I'm just going to put some random text into my letter. And I'm just going to spread out those paragraphs to make it more appealing. Now at the end of this I will be showing you how to format this letter if you don't like the font or you don't like the size of the font or the alignments and I'll show you all that at the end once we finish the letter. So I'm just going to hit the return key twice and then just put in my signature block. Okay, now there is a way to put a digital signature into this space here and there is a video which I will link in the description below that will give you all the instructions you need to create one of those signatures in Word. So once you've created your signature, go up to the insert tab, click on this pictures icon 
click on the drop down and click picture from file. And then I've already created my digital signature. So I can just click on the signature I want and press insert. Now obviously at the moment that signature is absolutely huge. So we just grab the corners and reduce the size. And then just delete that page. Then in order to position this signature where we want it, we just right click and go down to wrap text and click on tight. Alternatively, you can go to picture format and up here you go to wrap text, click on the drop down and click on tight here. So we're just going to reduce the size of that. And this signature is actually back to front, so we'll just turn it round. There we go. And we'll pop it about here. And then what we'll do is just press the return key so that my name is underneath here. OK, so once you've constructed your letter, you might go back and think, mm, actually, I'm not too sure about the font. So all you need to do is press Control or Command A and it will highlight your entire document. And then you can go up to the Home tab, just go up to the font icon here, click on the drop down, and then you've got hundreds and hundreds of different fonts to choose from. And then you can just go through and experiment, click on one that you think you might like the look of. If not, just go back up to the menu, and any fonts that are recent choices will end up in this recent fonts section here. So if you've clicked on a few and you actually quite like the one you went to first, it will end up in this section here. So let's just go and click on this one here. If you think your margins are a little bit too narrow or a little bit too wide, you can also change those too by going up to the Layout tab and going along to this Margins icon here. If you click on the drop down, you can either select from any of these options or you can go to custom margins at the bottom where you'll have a dialog box that comes up and this dialog box is very simple and all you need to do is increase or reduce the size of your margins left or right top or bottom commonly you'll obviously use the left or right or you can use these arrows here to simply increase or decrease your margins and as you do so you can just see that this little diagram here will change and again, you can do that to the right hand side as well. And then if you feel you need to, you can also increase or decrease the top and bottom margins. Let's say, for example, you wanted to get your entire letter on the same page and a few lines were, sorry, you wanted to get your entire letter on one page. Let's say your letter was quite long and you just couldn't fit your signature block here at the bottom. You can just extend these margins so they're a little bit narrower to get the text on. You can also go to the right hand side here where you see there's a little grey line and you can click on that and simply drag your margins down. So that will help to include all the text that you want. And as you can see, if I move this top one up and down, that will also uh, reduce your margins or decrease your margins. It's up to you. This is a little bit more flexible because obviously you can see what effect uh, you're having uh, live rather than having to figure out which value you need to extend your margins to suit your needs. Now some little added extras if you wanted to insert a logo to your letter again go up to the insert tab down to pictures click on the drop down and click pictures from file. I'm just going to use this signature block again for demonstration purposes. Once again if you go up to this wrap text icon you need to be in picture format, which is up here. If you're, if that doesn't appear at the top of your page, it's because your logo or your picture isn't highlighted. So just click on your picture and go up to picture format, along to wrap text and to tight. And then again, just reduce the size of your picture or logo. And then you just move it around your document to wherever you need it. So let's say we just moved it to the edge there. I'm just going to increase the size of this margin a little bit because the letter looks a bit odd being so close to the top. 
And then of course we can add headers and footers. So the headers and footers are just permanent pieces of information that, for example, your letter was two pages long and you wanted to include the company name, let's say, at the bottom of your document or page number. You can access the headers or footers in two ways. The first way is to simply click at the top or bottom of your document, just double click, and your footer and your header will appear. Because my margins were reduced earlier, I can increase or decrease those when I'm in the footer and header module just to increase the size of this footer to get in the information I need. So let's say for example I just wanted to put company name in the bottom here and then I decided I wanted a page number so I go up to the header and footer sorry go up to the header and footer go to page number and click on the drop down. When you click page number this dialog box will appear and then you can just tell Word that you want your page number to appear at the centre of your document at the bottom and click OK and then Word do exactly that. So the company name doesn't quite line up with this page number so all I'm going to do is hit the delete button and then what that will do is if I just click go to the home tab and click on this icon here you can see that each of these paragraph icons indicates a return key. So that's where I've clicked on the return key on my keyboard. So if I hit the return key now you can see that I've got a return key space here. So in order to uh, move this upwards I need to get rid of this by pressing the delete key. And then if I just double click off the headers and footers you can see here that the footers go a slight shade of grey that will indicate that's actually in the footer section and that will be a permanent feature if your document is more than one page long so let's say for example if I just quickly copy and paste this you can see if my document or my letter was two pages long the footer would just extend across each page and if that footer is just that little bit too high double click on the lower part of your page click and then just drag down and then you can place it exactly where it suits you. Let's just get rid of all of this by clicking, dragging and pressing the delete key and then again we'll press the delete key to come over to the right hand side. And the other way to access the headers and footers is to simply go up to the insert tab, go along to header and footer. So if I click on header then this drop down menu will appear. If you just click on edit header then it will take you to the header and the footer. If you want to go between the headers and footers just make sure on the, you're on the header and footer tab up here and then you can simply click go to footer because I'm currently on the header and then when my cursor is down here on the footer I just click go to header and it appears in the header. OK, so I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.